I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone. I'm Alyssa Matheny. And I'm Genesis Gossin. El Club de Open Arms está buscando donaciones de las siguientes cosas para ayudar a los que están combatiendo el cáncer. Si es posible, por favor, traigan las siguientes cosas. Dulces, chicles, lemonheads, biotin para la boca, um, loción y crema, cobijas, agua, rompecabezas y libros de colorear, cartas, calcetas, germex para las manos, agua de vitamina, sombreros y zapatos, y también Ensure o Pedialyte. Y todas las donaciones son muy apreciadas. Si usted conoce a alguien que graduó de Okeechobee High School y es un miembro de las Fuerzas Armadas, por favor, pregúntale si quiere mandar una foto para usar en el Día de Veteranos. Por favor, manden las fotos con los nombres y los años que graduaron a la clase de Miss Fox en el cuarto 602 o mándales un correo electrónico. El programa de migrantes de tutorial va a empezar este año, el, noviembre, el primero de noviembre en martes. Nosotros vamos a tener las juntas solamente los martes y los jueves de las 2.15 a las 3.15 en el Passkey Lab con Ms. Coleman, va a ser la maestra. Si usted va a tener al tutorial, por favor pregúntenles a su maestra por un permission slip que es un papel de permiso. Ms. Aldrin también tiene los papeles en su oficina en el cuarto 107. El tiempo de básquetbol está empezando. Las porrisas de aquí de la escuela están vendiendo camisetas de básquetbol. Son cinco dólares y tienen las tallas pequeñas hasta extra grandes. Si usted busca Miss Harvey o a una porrisa, por favor, agarren una. Y cuestan cinco dólares. Queremos decir feliz cumpleaños a los que van aquí en la escuela y celebran sus cumpleaños del jueves hasta hoy. Romero, Borja, Madeline, Hubert, Harry, Todd, Monica, Luna, Brooke Thornton, Ryan, Chester, Samantha, Rebolo, Macy, Collier, Justin Hunter, Taylor, Anuez, John Dickinson, and Kaylee Tinajero. <laughs> Okeechobee High School on this beautiful Monday. I know you're a little confused. You gotta be because you're like, why is Dad in orange and blue? He must have lost his mind. And we have a special <laughs> guest here this morning, Mrs. Geeting, who drove all the way in this morning just to rub it in. Look at her in her gator stuff. So I, I've got some good stuff to talk about, but do you want to go first? We'll give you the we'll give you the floor. Sure. First, I want to say that um, I'm appreciate being invited here this morning. Thank you for inviting me. And I'm glad to welcome the Brahmins to another week of school. I hope you guys have a great week. I know you had a wonderful weekend, football, band, everybody did great things over the weekend. Um, I did see your post this weekend talking about, you know, being positive. Trying to be positive. It's hard right now. It's <laughs> it so is. hard. It's, it's, it's hard. so hard. It's a stretch. But, but you can stay positive because, you know, good things happen, like the Gators winning. Um, <laughs> And so stay, you know, stay positive, stay in there. We want, we all want to see every one of you graduate. But you know, I, I heard here. Here we go. This, it's coming. I hear the, this jig thing. There's a jig, something about a jig. People I saw a jig. Tennessee fan jigging yeah. one day. Yeah. I, I don't know if, if the Gator fan's going to jig today, but I did bring something oh, for the Gator go. fan so that she has this. Oh, yeah. 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 So that she can, this is better than a jig. <laughs> So that she can show how much, you know, all the good headlines of how we, the Gators, beat. How did Bulldogs <laughs> dominate Georgia? Man. The only oh, one that was missing Gators was Chalk and Gator, you know, Gator Bait. That, that yeah. was missing. If I had my radio right now, we'd need a custodian yeah. in 6102. Because <laughs> it's getting deep in and there. And I noticed the little Gator is safe over there. Uh, yeah. The Gator survived. Without a scratch, so it's all good. <laughs> But, you know, Thank you, Ms. Ketters, you are a good sport, and I appreciate that. So I gave you something for tomorrow. Hey! <laughs> and, and I'll be out here to, to see it. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this is going to be ugly. I could have wore this today. Two days in a row. Because today I'm dressed as my worst fear, a Gator fan. <laughs> but, no, i gotta, I got to throw a shout-out because I do have the, the only thing I own of the Gators is because, you know, the former alum or the alum, not former alum, the alum Jonathan Crawford pitched for the Gators. So this is a shout out to him. I got his autographed hat on and his baseball because I just couldn't go with football. But 
yeah, I'll take one for the team and I'll wear this ugly thing tomorrow. So we'll have two days in a row of ugliness. I don't know if this will ever go home. <laughs> so we may have to put out an APB on this tie after tomorrow. You but... can save it for next year. Oh, well, next year we're going to shoot this in your <laughs> I, office. I, I, oh, I, I bet Mr. In Reed, red and black. I bet you could. I bet he might. He's probably already got like six of these. <laughs> I mean, he's probably got one on today. I haven't seen him yet. Do we have any announcements yeah. for today? <laughs> Goodness gracious. The teachers are ready to teach. Okay. Okay, so a couple shout outs. Cross country, you're going back to state. Second year in a row. Daniel Shelley, you finished in the top 15, which means you qualified as an individual. Hunter Seals, you finished 18th overall. That's a great feat. Just out of that top 15, but you're on the team that finished number, did you guys finish three overall in the yes. region? Yes. yes, three overall in the region. And the top six teams go. So congratulations for you guys that are going back to the state tournament this Saturday. So we'll be looking forward to seeing you there. Want to give a shout out to the band. You didn't have to be at the football game Friday night at Jensen because you have a you had a big competition at Jupiter on Saturday. But what you did for the team, I mean the team was out dancing. You you got them pumped up in the in, towards the end of the game when they needed it. There were guys dancing on the field. I even saw Jensen players dancing on the field <laughs> to you guys playing. So that was awesome. And Saturday at Jupiter, you guys finished third out of 13, and it was the first time you've broken the score of 80. You had an 80.3, which is huge. Um, and you'll take that into the contest this weekend at Jensen, and I know you're preparing for the state tournament in Tampa, you know, two weeks after that. So we're looking forward to that. You guys are, were great Friday, and you were great again on Saturday. Miss Goggins is gonna talk about swimming. She's got some particulars from their region. Last thing I'm going to say is football team, you had a tough game against Jensen. That's exactly what you needed. You got a W, 17-7. to This week, if you're not pumped up for your rival, Cluiston, I don't know what's wrong with you. You just don't have blood flowing or something because I guarantee you when we go to their place Friday night, it's going to be a, they're going to be jacked up. They're going to know you guys are 7-1, and one, but you're going to their house, so they're going to try to protect their house just like we try to protect ours. So the challenge this week is to stay focused and let's go in and break Cluiston's heart on Friday night to prepare for the playoffs. That's all I got. Swimming, Coach Jones um, sent me some information, said they had some great swims this past weekend and that she couldn't be any prouder of the efforts of our swim team. Um, the girls finished 17th overall and the boys finished 16th overall. A couple of well, some notables, but the most um, the most improvement here, I guess, is the 400 free relay. Um, Beatrice Perez, Adonis Scalf, Rebecca Hancock, and Jillian Kennedy, um, they just killed it. Finished in 14th place, but they took 12 seconds off and had their group personal best for the year. So that 12 seconds is huge in swimming. Like two or three seconds is huge. So. Uh, you know, a strong finish for the swim team this season. Bunch of young swimmers there. I know we only have two seniors graduating. They'll be back next year, and they will be killing it again in the pool. So, uh, great, great finish for the swimmers this year. All right, I really enjoyed checking out the news feed, um, the hashtag Go Brahmins this weekend, just watching all the celebrations happening through all of these groups. Keep it up. I know there are great things happening in classrooms as well. We've received a few invitations to come visit your classes and watch some group presentations or projects that are being presented. So capture those things too. We want to celebrate your academics as that is the most important. That is the business of being here at school. So as you're having fun, um, focus and get down to business as progress reports will be coming out soon, believe it or not. Believe it or not. Yeah. yeah. Um, tomorrow night we are having our OHS Migrant Parent Involvement Night. So if you're uh, one of Miss Algorin's students, make sure that you are here in the Media Center at 6 o'clock. And then also tomorrow night, we are starting winter sports already. Preseason soccer tournament at YMS. Come out and support your Brahmins. Today's Halloween, so hopefully you're dressed up. I wish these two would have decided to dress up today. Um, <laughs> so make sure it's appropriate. So I know it's third hour. Hopefully you hadn't made it to third hour if it's not appropriate, because I said the things to follow, no masks, no props, make sure it's appropriate. Have fun with it, enjoy the day, take a lot of pictures, make sure you post them and share them. 
This is actually like the fifth day. We're getting the fifth day back to homecoming week, so, right? Yeah. We should have kept points. <laughs> so you guys can keep points on your own. Just make them up. Have fun with it. <laughs> have a great week. Be Brahmins. Ketterdom, a bustling hub of international trade where anything can be had for the right price. And no one knows that better than criminal prodigy Kaz Brecker. Kaz is offered a chance at a deadly heist that could make him rich beyond his wildest dreams. But he can't pull it off alone. A convict with a thirst for revenge. A sharpshooter who can't walk away from a wager. A runaway with a privileged past. A spy known as the Wraith. A heart render using her magic to survive the slums. A thief with a gift for unlikely escapes. Six dangerous outcasts. One impossible heist. Kaz's crew is the only thing that might stand between the world and destruction. If they don't kill each other first.